worst emergencies that I think I've ever been through, and I've been through Desert Storm, so that's telling you a lot. August 29. People were bringing things, items of clothing to help us and stuff. And what do you need? And a man walked up to me and he said, this is for the refugees. And I was like, we're oh, refugees. <laughs> <laughs> that was the hardest part, right then and there. And I said, you know what? We have no home. That's what a refugee is. It's someone whose home has been taken. I couldn't find my son. When I saw Circle Fool still underwater, that's when I knew it was all over. I'll never forget the staff that was here during the hurricane, ever, and they knew it. He walked into the facility with another deputy, and he said, he's a grown man, and he started crying. He said, Mom, I thought you and Dad were dead. We're watching on TV and they're seeing their entire city flooded to the rooftops, not knowing if their husbands are okay, if their children are okay. But they hung in there and they cared for these individuals. We worked 24 hours, just round the clock, on our hands and knees, going from mattress to mattress, changing the residence. People who work in nursing homes are often invisible, or even worse, they're viewed negatively. This film bears witness to their caring and seeks to make visible their selfless acts of courage. Sometimes it's to your ankles, sometimes to your knees, sometimes it's to your chest or head or up above the eaves. Water filled with chemicals, water filled with gas, water spilling everywhere, a city under glass. People always hear the bad stories. And, and sometimes it's because the people who have the good stories don't really talk about it. This them. film is a tribute to the staff of Louisiana's nursing homes who brought thousands of residents safely through the storm and its aftermath. One thing about Katrina is that it brought out also the best in people. It really did. And that will stay with me the rest of my life.